Finally a good and serious episode. Pokemon Sun and Moon, for once, you did good! Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up guys, it's your Ranger Boy here and welcome to a very, very late review of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. It's time to put the forced comedy aside and dive right into some serious action with episode 7, the Vagabond in the Market, Litten. They finally delivered something what I've been asking for for the last few weeks. An episode with more seriousness and less funny faces. So far, my fave episode out of all the episodes from Sun and Moon. And with a relief feeling, let's start with the review. So the episode starts kinda generic, with our goofy hero on his way to school, you know, just like always, until his attention has been drawn by those big and mysterious eyes of today's main focus, Litten. And although Rotom describes Litten as a lone wolf kind of Pokemon, both Ash and Litten seem to get along pretty well. So well that Ash even decides to share his breakfast with it. But Litten doesn't really like the idea of getting just a tiny bit and instead gets the jackpot right away and in an instant Litten is far far away. Unfortunately Litten encounters in my opinion one of the most ugliest Pokemon I ever have seen, Alolan Persian. And even though this Pokemon seems to belong to a rich woman, that's still not enough for Persian since it decides to bully Litten. Clueless about what happened to this adorable firecat, Ash still is furious about Litten taking away his breakfast, but it seems like that Ash is the only one who is actually angry at Litten since, just like me, Lana and Marlo are fangirling about this cuteness. Why is the focus also explains, just like Rotom before, that Litten usually prefers to be alone. But all those things don't really seem to interest Ash at all, since he decides to get revenge on Litten by catching it. Okay. Speaking of Litten, it seems like that it got into some trouble again, this time with Team Rocket, who were just enjoying the Alolan view while smoothly saying their motto. Okay, that's strange. But thanks to our adorable cat, this piece soon is over. And while running away, Ash is chasing after it like crazy. And even after the old market lady explains that Litten is not a bad Pokemon, Ash still is angry about the loss of his sandwich. But Ash will learn soon that Litten does all this stuff only to take care of an old Stoutland, who seems to be both a teacher and a family member for Litten. Anyway, moving on to the next day, while Ash is on his way back home, he once again encounters Litten, but this time with the ugly bully Pokemon, aka a lowland Persian. And after successfully chasing it away, Litten suddenly collapses, and even while being half unconscious, it still tries to work alone. And even after being treated, it still tries to escape, until Ash decides to take the stubborn fire cat with him, while also trying to gain Litten's trust by saying that it should trust Ash and Pikachu a little bit more. Despite Litten seemingly starting to believe Ash, it still decides to escape, and after a sleepy Ash accidentally opened the door for it, Ash once again is chasing after Litten, while Persian is spying on them. Soon after encountering and realizing the situation between Litten and the old Stoutland, Ash even gives up on catching Litten, and everything seems to be fine. Of course, until Persian is trying to get revenge on Ash and Pikachu. And the rest goes like this. A quick battle between the Pokemon, Van Ash protects Stoutland from Persian's attack, and in the end, thanks to Stoutland's advice, Litten is finally able to fire a proper attack to once again chase Persian away. And we got a happy ending. But before the episode actually really ends, Ash wanted to visit Litten and Stoutland once again, but soon he realizes that both Pokemon are gone and not even the old market lady knows where Litten is. But thankfully Litten pops up out of nowhere and gazes through the eyes of Ash before disappearing once again. And that is the end of today's episode. Like I said in the beginning, I really enjoyed this episode and without any more hesitation, let's get right into my impressions. Overall, for the majority of, of the episode, I really had a fun time. I loved the focus of today, which was of course Litten and its relationship with Stoutland and its upcoming relationship buildup with Ash. And I really like that foreshadowing. To be honest, it really reminds me of Sandile back then in Black and White, where Sandile also had some conflicts with Ash in the past. And after encountering Ash several times, it in the end joined Ash's team and even became one of Ash's strongest Pokemon. And in my opinion, Litten will most likely go the same route as Sandile. And it's even ironic that Litten got a Gen 5 Pokemon as a teacher, which also kinda underlined my theory of Litten being like Sandile. Hopefully Ash will fully evolve Litten, just like he did with Sandile, and therefore I will look forward for more. The next thing I want to talk about is Ash, and luckily this time there's no reason to be angry at Ash 
because he finally shows some attitude which we all love instead of being degenerated to only forced comedy. And that's what I wanna see. Sure, you can also have comedy moments, I don't mind, but I just prefer these kinds of episodes more, with Ash being serious, with Ash showing a loving bond with Pokemon, and even go so far to risk his own life. That's why I love Ash, and that's why he's my childhood hero, and hopefully we will see more. And last but not least, I of course have to talk about the art design and animation. Today's animation and art design really decent, I really loved it, I really loved the serious tone during the night and during the battle between Litten and Persian. There was one animation segment which was actually really awkward and that was the one part where Ash was on his way back home and before going home he said goodbye to his friends. The rest of the Alolan crew just standed there like they belonged in the background. No hand movements, no eye movements, no mouth movements, nothing. It really seemed like this segment right here, it just looked like that the whole crew belonged to the background instead of being in front of the background and this was just so awkward. Really awkward this one segment but the rest of the episode was actually really decent, I loved it. And I loved the segments with Ash and Litten during the night and of course then the battle. Overall I really loved this episode, hopefully you guys liked this episode as well and see you guys in the comment section down below. Bye guys!